in the past, Vermont used to be covered by ocean water. So it used to be the Champlain Sea. Uh, and then eventually there were some, uh, the glaciers started moving uh, through this area and, you know, created uh, different uh, geographic structures or uh, way of what the landscape of Vermont looks like. Um, Vermont's weather is usually uh, been affected by how uh, the land has also been altered and therefore uh, when we think about Vermont's weather today it may not be completely reflective of Vermont's weather yesterday. And when I first came to Vermont um, I was actually moving from New Hampshire at the time where I've lived most of my life and I moved to Burlington and I actually thought that Burlington didn't get a lot of snow compared to New Hampshire. The temperatures were similar, but I felt like there wasn't enough snow. And I love snow. I think snow is beautiful in the winter. I think it gives you a lot of outdoor activities to do. I think it makes things look pretty. And um, I was kind of disappointed a little bit. Moving down here to Pulteney um, made me a little happier about the weather because there's a little more snow. But I'm still kind of jealous of some of my family that lives in New Hampshire because they tend to get more snow than we do. It's cold up here. I'll be honest. It snows a lot. It's cold. I'm waiting for the Vermont weather. I'm, I'm coming from New York originally and then Pennsylvania last year. I want to see the snow. I want a huge avalanche of snow to descend upon campus. And I'm waiting for it. This is very similar to what I'm used to as far as weather where it's like 18 degrees out right now but yesterday it was like 40 and tomorrow it'll probably be like 90 and it just fluctuates because of the valley that we are currently located in. When I first came to Vermont I was coming from Tucson, Arizona which is a very warm place and I moved to Vermont and, and uh, that was my first experience in a really cold place and I had a wood stove. I'd never seen a wood stove before so I, I learned how to use a wood stove and where I was living was a kind of a drafty old schoolhouse and it was like you know 20 below for two weeks at a stretch and uh, I never got the place over 40 degrees so I dressed really warm and I stayed really close to the wood stove. The winters are really, really cold, kind of depressing. So, so at the co-op, we buy, um, on, from a local perspective, we buy probably from um, 20 to 30 different farms, whether they're really local, like within 10, 15 miles, or whether they're statewide or some food um, growers up in Canada we buy from too. So the, um, because, um, because of the severity of the weather in Vermont, it becomes really difficult to find fresh vegetables over the course of, from like November to April. Um, but I think one, one of the things that's been kind of exciting about this food co-op is since we started like three and a half years ago, um, more farms have popped up that are growing, uh, growing through the winter so um, they have hoop houses, it's the only way they can grow. I mean, even vegetables still freeze in hoop houses and they would heat, they usually have these under mats. So we've got um, the number of farms that we just bought from one farm who grew pretty much year round and supplied us with greens all year round. So um, because we're so close to our product, because of what our customers want to buy from us is, is and they're wanting to be closer to their food source, I think it's a lot more volatile. It's, it's more important that, um, uh, the weather plays a much more important role for what we buy uh, for our customers in here, as opposed to people that would walk into a normal grocery store and their stuff's either, you know, frozen from China or um, they have, the, you know, the local veggies come from thousands of miles away. <music> It's a thing. I 
definitely think in winter people are more depressed and more prone to sadness than in the summer because it's just cold and less sunlight. Your body needs sunlight for vitamin D. Students are way more excited and upbeat and running around when it's true. It's the middle of the summer and the spring and in the winter. Basically, like three o'clock, everyone goes and hibernates because it's cold and dark and sad. <laughs> we live in a controlled environment, though, in the office, in the admissions office, because we're we've got heat and light, yep. so we can we're work. Always happy, you know, thirteen hours and not know what time it is, <laughs> which usually happens. Yeah. So it's a little weird for us because it's always the same temperature. And so when I moved up here, and I've always been kind of really kind of tuned into the seasons anyways, because it's just, I mean, it's why I like New England, because the seasons change. So when we moved up here, um, I, I, the winters were, um, for the first five years, tons of snow, which I think was normal for Vermont, from talking to other Vermonters, they're like, yeah, we have snow from like sometimes October all the way to April, so, so I can... I can uh, I can get that, um, and not so much cold. It was just really snowy. I think that's why the skiing industry up here did really well um, back because it was always traditionally snowy. But now there's there's like a I would say the the one thing if I had to say one word about the the weather and the climate in the last fifteen years is is very erratic. You know we'll we'll get winters that are three feet of snow. And there'll be winters that there's no snow whatsoever and it's bitterly cold. And I see more extremes rather, that's why I'd always, I always laugh when they say global warming. It's like, I don't think it's global warming, I think it's global climactic change. Like, like uh, the, the extremes are so much more. That's really what I've, what I've seen. Case in point, like last winter was the coldest like, I don't mind cold. I like cold. Because um, I just, I have the right clothes. I used, I used to tell my kids there's no such thing as bad weather. It's just bad clothes. It's mixed on the beat. It is a lot different. In Poultney than it is in Brooklyn, uh, especially uh, not just the weather, but the people and the uh, surroundings. You know, we're surrounded by the mountains out here, so we're ho definitely higher in elevation. Uh, I'm expecting it to get a lot colder here than it usually does in Brooklyn for the winter. Um, in the city, you kind of have all the buildings to insulate you. You get the concrete heat here. You know, we're in the mountains, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting out and exploring the mountains in the snow and doing some sled riding and snowboarding. What do you do in, a, in Vermont? Oh, there's so many things that you can do in Vermont, from snowshoeing to skiing to snowboarding uh, to taking a hike in the in the winter snow to uh, going down and meditate by a cold river and just listening to the sounds that come out uh, to visiting locations around the, uh, around the state. You know, little towns, seeing the lights, and going to Burlington and still going to have some you know, nightlife, uh, as we would call. There is so much that you can do in Vermont when it's this weather cold. One thing I really love about Vermont weather is that it is always changing. And it's really related to the, the seasons. And I love living in a place that has different seasons because I think it keeps life really interesting. There's something to do in every season. In the fall, I love to hunt. In the winter, I just love to enjoy the beauty and get out there and then come inside and have warm hot chocolate. Um, in the spring, I love it when the, uh, all the plants start sprouting and the leaves start leafing out. And since I'm a forager, that provides an abundance of opportunity to go out and harvest wild edibles. 
Well, I'd go swimming <laughs> outside when it's cold out. <laughs> I have done a polar bear thing once. Yep. For three Januarys ago, oh. you jump in the ocean in Jan. In, it was Super Bowl Sunday. You jumped in the ocean. I've done it for this year was my 16th year of doing polar bear swim in Lake George. Get right. out of here! Nice. Yep. 16. Okay, I did it. Yep. Once. It's cold. I went snowboarding once and I fell so hard I thought I pooped myself. <laughs> I like to be out in the woods in the winter time. Um, I should downhill ski. I have downhill skied, but I've never, um, it's actually an affordability thing. A lot of, uh, Vermonters really can't afford to ski. So, and, uh, and they leave that to the, the, the tourists coming in from the outside. So a cross country ski or snowshoe I like to do. And sometimes I just like being outside. So when my kids were young, we were just always outside. I like to just go out and look in the woods for, um, animal tracks, um, and see what's out there, see, do some um, post-season, I'm a hunter, so post-season deer tracking to see where the deer are bedding down, what they're eating, um, what uh, routes they're using to travel in the winter. I like to go out and do that. It's great to have snow for that because you can see the tracks. That's really important information for me to then um, be able to hunt more effectively in the next season. Um, I go out sometimes and harvest some things in the woods for eating. I eat a lot of white pine uh, needles. I make uh, white pine tea out of that. And that's a great resource in the winter. Um, we like to just spend a lot of time in the woods, my girlfriend and I and our dog. My girlfriend likes to snowshoe a lot. I don't really like the way snowshoes feel, so I usually go without them. But some people cross-country ski. I had never really got into that. I just like to be on foot in the woods in the winter. I think it's a really beautiful time to be um, in the outdoors because everything is just so so severe, so cold and beautiful in a really stark way. And I think that's that's pretty cool. There's an awesome poem by um, Wallace Stevens called The Snowman and I used to have it memorized, I don't anymore, but it's all about the beauty of winter and uh, that's kind of how I view winter. Production. Mix with all the BT.